Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. You guys all met Isaac, the new happy owner of 96 Forerunner SR5, which has 280,360 miles. Isaac called me yesterday and he sounded worried. He said his engine is shaking and he's not sure if he can drive it. So we discussed that and we made a decision not to tow anything because we know when he came here and we did together inspection he had P0306 for misfire on number 6 cylinder. You guys saw it. Well. Obviously, that should be related to that. Driving it on the flat area a few miles shouldn't destroy the engine. So I said, hey, after school, bring it to my shop. We will look at it and we will see what's happening. So Isaac, please describe what was happening with your truck, with your forerunner. Let's start with that. Describe the symptoms, why you came here. You can show us whatever you want. Go ahead. So around, um, so last time, remember we cleared the uh, cylinder six. Mm -hmm. um, but driving home yesterday, um, I was just half, almost halfway home, and I was uh, feeling this shaking. It was shaking the whole car, mm -hmm. and I was very worried. So I went back home. And what was shaking, if you can say what? The this, whole car? The or? whole engine was shaking. Oh, which was engine, all right. Yeah, the whole engine was shaking. But, and then that was also making the car and the whole body shaking. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So you came today here, we put it in the garage. And what we did, how did we start it with uh, taking care of this problem? So we took out the spark tube. Excuse me, what we did immediately? Oh, we... Scan. Oh, we scanned the uh, engine. Computer the engine, computer right, engine. ECM. And surprisingly, we found, tell us what we found. We found uh, cylinder four is misfiring. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a whole so, different cylinder. Yeah, so, and you remember, impress everybody, please. You actually knew where the two, four, six are. Can you show everybody? Right. So here's back here is one, two, three, four, five, six. You really impressed me with that. You already remembered five EZFE exact locations of cylinders. Well, after that, I said, hey, step away. I will go and remove the wires, right, spark plug wires, and we will look on the spark plugs and so on. So what immediately happened to Peter? So to Peter, he got a problem. A pain right there, yeah, yeah, with this. And why was that? Because it was all wrapped in the oil, right? All wrapped in the oil, and I forgot which one, but it was one of these three, the whole of this whole thing was off. Yeah, it was coming off, the top was coming off, sliding, I have to grab the spark plug, uh, spark plug uh, wire plugs, the, the pliers. And we had a problem with two and six. It did, didn't want to come out. Everything was soaked with the oil. And we explain each other and I keep explaining to Isaac. He has serious leak from valve covers. The oil is everywhere, it's dripping on the exhaust. So we know that from inspection, he needs to schedule valve cover gasket replacement. But now he will tell you what he discovered on top of it. So, well, you know, when we first got this, uh, the spark, two, wires, spark wires, wires out. Yeah. Um, they were wet with oil yeah, and? We wet with oil, a little concerned about that until horror came up came across when we looked inside and there was oil covering everything. So if we look in the tubes, you can see the four, the six in, in the back, and that, there's no space. But what was inside, Isaac? Oil. Just flooded oil. Mm -hmm. 
So we know that there are also the seals right here in the valve cover, there are rubber seals and they will stop the oil flowing into the tube. However, the seals are in the bad shape, they're hardened, they're leaking and we confirm we need to do the valve cover gaskets, right? Definitely. This is the remnants. This is after Isaac cleaned those spar plugs, but you see the oil was dripping off it. The socket, spar plug socket, it's full of that. So we definitely know that we have a problem with the flooding and is it correct that this could cause these misfires? Definitely. Well, it could cause it. Like it could cause the misfires with the excessive oil uh, in the engine and in the tubes. So let's ask Isaac what is our plan? How we will approach this problem? Flooded spark plug tubes, the wires are soaked with the oil. He hopefully remembers what I have to do for his car. <laughs> Go ahead. So, in our conclusion with this whole engine fiasco, um, we both agreed on that we need, uh, and you know, we, what really needs to be done to this engine is a uh, valve cover gasket job. Uh huh. We also need to replace all six of the uh, spark plugs mm -hmm. with Densol, not the uh, NGKR. Okay, so you want to have what brand? The Denzel. Uh huh, Denzel, right? D E N S O. Nice. I agree with you, 100%. And what else we are questioning? The very last thing is the wires to the tubes and to the spark uh, spark tubes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Um, they are full of oil and they just need to be replaced. Mm -hmm. We think so. Somebody might decide to save them, but they are just soaked. These caps are slipping off like there's no resistance. Everything is full of oil, so Isaac thinks it will be a good idea to replace those two. Definitely. Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Are we on the correct track? Will that, what we just said, fix our problem? First, uh, it was on the six misfire, and today there was, again, only one coat. And it moved to the four, which was physically clearly flooded with that oil. So, do you agree or are we missing something? Shall we replace something else? What, what do you say? Please comment underneath the video because I will post it today. We have to look in the calendar where to put his job. I'm really booked badly, but I want to help him ASAP. But there will be a few days between, so... Both of us, Isaac and you, will be reading your comments. And if you suggest more stuff, we might do that too. So thank you for watching and be subscribed. A lot of coming your way soon. See ya. Awesome. See you guys.